Our learning target this unit is I can add and subtract three digit numbers using place value. Your success criteria for this lesson is I will know I'm successful when I can find 1, 10, or 100 less or more than a number. In order to do this, we're going to start out with place value models. Then you're going to do this mentally, but I really want you to be able to visualize what happens when we subtract or add 1, 10, or 100. So on my place value mat, you can see I have 127. And I have 127 over in my standard form. I am going to subtract or add 1, and then subtract or add 10, and subtract or add 100. So you can see what happens to the place value. Mostly I want you to ask yourself which place value will be affected by the change. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract and add 1. So I'm going to take 1, 1, and I'm going to put it in the trash. Which place value changed? Just my 1's place. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to write 120, and I don't have 7 anymore. This time I have 126. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to bring back the 1 we took away. We have 127, and we're going to add 1. So instead of taking one away, this time I'm going to count on. So instead of 127, I'm going to count on one. I'm adding one. So I'm going to have 128, which place value changed. Instead of seven, I have 128. Just the ones place changed. All right, this time we are going to, we're going to get rid of the one we added. So we have 127 and we're going to subtract and add 10. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 10. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take away one of the two tens that I have, and now we only have one 10. So instead of 127, I have 117. Which place value was affected by the change? Just the tens place. All right, this time we need to get back to 127, and this time we're going to add 10. So instead of taking away a 10, notice I'm not changing my hundreds and I'm not changing my ones. I'm just going to add a 10. So now instead of having 127, I have 137. So that means over here, I have 100. Instead of two tens, I have three tens, but my ones did not change. They were not affected by the change. So that is how I add and subtract one one and one ten. Let's go to one hundred. Let's get back to our original. I need to get rid of the one ten I added. Now I have a hundred twenty seven and I need to find one hundred less and one hundred more. Well if I find one hundred less I only have one one hundred here. So I'm going to take away one one hundred, put it in the trash, and that will leave me with no one hundreds and twenty seven. So this time I don't have any hundreds, I just have 27. Which place value was affected by the change? Just the hundreds place. Let's get back to our original, 127. And this time we're going to add one 100. Which place value will be affected? Of course, it will be my hundreds place. So I'm going to add one 100. And instead of having 127, I'm going to have 200. You can see them, two 100s. I didn't change my 10s or 1s. It didn't affect those place values, so I just have 227. And the place value that changed here was my 1s place. And I did forget to underline this because when we changed our 10, just the 10 changed. All right, now you have it. So when we change when we add or subtract 1, 10, or 100, you need to ask yourself which place value will be affected by the change. Let's go back over here and see if we can do a couple without the place value models. So watch while I solve this problem. The first thing I'm going to make sure that I ask myself is which place value will change? Will it go up or down? Am I finding less or more? So if I'm in this side, I'm going to find less, and in this side, I'm going to find more. So I have 382, and I need to find 
one less. Well, I know when I'm finding one less, my ones place will change. So instead of 382, I'm going to remove one from my ones place and I'll have 381. 10 less, I'm going to go to the tens place because I know it's going to affect that. It's going to be 300 instead of 82, 372. All right, 100 less. Well, right now I have three 100s in 382. So instead of three 100s, there will be two. 282. Let's do one more, 10 more, and, ten, and 100 more. 382, I add one more, which means I just count on what comes after 382. 383, I'm adding one to the ones place. I'm going to add 10 more. So instead of 382, it will be 392 because instead of eight tens, I now have nine tens. And 100 more, instead of three 100s, I'll now have four 100. So it will be 482. It's your turn. Pause the video. Your number you're starting with is 535. And your job is to find out what is 1, 10, and 100 less, and 1, 10, and 100 more. Pause the video. How did you do? Well, hopefully you really focused on which place value will change, which place value will be affected by that change, and are, are you going to change it up or down? Are you getting less or more? So over here, you had 535 and you needed one less. So your answer should have been one less in the ones place. So the one in the, the five in the ones place would become a four. Notice the five in the hundreds place was not affected by the change. Now you have 535, 10 less than three tens would be 525. 100 less, well, instead of five one hundreds, instead of 535, it will be 435. And now you're going to go and add. You're going to have it go one more, 10 more, or, or 100 more. So what's 100 more than 535? Well, I'm sorry, what's one more than 535? Well, you're going to add one to the one in the ones place. So instead of 535, it's 536. 10 more than 535, just look at that tens place. It is now three. So instead of three, you'll have four tens. So 545. What about 100 more? Okay. Instead of, now this time, the five that changed won't be, will, the changes will not be the five in the ones place, it will be the five in the tens place. So instead of, I'm sorry, the hundreds place. So instead of 535, you'll have 635. We're going to do one more. This one's a little more difficult. The reason this one's a little more difficult is we have a little regrouping that goes on. And we've already practiced adding and regrouping. So I want you to think about what happens to a number when you count on to the next number and you're at a nine. So think about that when we solve this one. I want you to pause the video and this one might take you a minute. And I want you to see if you can figure out one, 10 and 100 less and more than 499. Pause the video now, please. All right, how did you do? Well, hopefully you figured out that this one was just a little different. Let's start with one less. Well, that's not so hard. One less than nine, nine, nine ones, 499 would be 498. 10 less than 499, so you're looking at nine tens, is just one ten less. Instead of nine tens, you have eight tens, so 489. What about 100 less? Well, this isn't so hard. 499, take away one of these hundreds, would be 399. Okay. When we start adding, you need to be thinking about that regrouping thing. When you count on one more, what number do you count on to when you are counting up and you are go, you, you're counting 499? What would one more be? When you add one more, what's the next counting number you come to? Of course, I can add one to this nine, but what happens to that nine? It becomes a 10.
And we have talked about this, that you can't have two digits in one place value. So you need to regroup those, those ones, put them together in a group to make one brand new 10. But that's a 9 too. So what happens when you regroup the 10? It's going to add one more 100. So you're going to take 10 ones to make another 10, and that will make 10 tens to make another 100. Really, the easiest way to say is what comes after 499? Of course, 500. So in this case, when you're thinking about which place value is affected or which place, place value changes, because of that regrouping, all three place values changed. Let's look at 10 more. What is 10 more than 9 tens? In 499, you have 9 tens. Well, it's 10 tens, and what happens when we get to 10 tens? It becomes 100. So instead of 4 100s, you will now have 5 100s, and you won't have any ones left. So 499, and if you're stuck, you can always use your fingers and count up 10 more. But with number sense and by knowing place value, it makes it easy to know what happens. It's 509. Let's think about 100 more. Instead of 499, you're just going to add one 100, so it's 599. In this lesson, you practiced finding 1, 10, or 100 less or more of a number. Here's your to-do list. When you go away, there are additional tutorial videos in Google Classroom if you feel you need extra practice. Please complete the practice pages in Seesaw and then go over to iknowit.com and complete one of your assignments. Thank you.